Any question in the last class? Or continue? Hello? Last class we discussed about the fluid glycolate media, which is the one of the most important uh, media which are used for the both the aerobic as well as the anaerobic bacteria or microorganism can be cultured. So this fluid glycolate media is a very common media which are utilized for the sterility test for aerobic as well as the non-aerobic or anaerobic bacteria. And these ingredients contain the AL cysteine and the contain quantity. And they basically it contain sulfur, sulfur containing amino acid or SH containing amino acid. Those amino acid, those bacteria or organism require for SH group that be AL cysteine. AL cysteine, why AL cysteine? AL is the levorotatory. All the all amino acid are levorotatory are the physiologically active, but others are dextrotatory is not physiologically active. Another is the sodium chloride. Sodium chloride where it is used, it is used for the isotonicity contributor to maintain the isotonicity with the media as well as the microorganism plasma. And dextrose, which is the energy source for the 5.5 grams agars for the solidifying or the viscosity binding uh, viscosity enhancer or viscosity enhancer growth promoter also. And yeast extract, it is also C and carbon and nitrogen source and also the vitamin. Yeast extract, basically the protein amino acid as well as the nitrogen and vitamins and sodium thioglobate this is the main component which is acts as a reducing agent because one is the one is the oxidizing agent another is the reducing agent and the pancreatic digest of casein the nutrient and the essential the methylene blue oxidation reduction indicator and distillation up to thousand sterilization in the autoclave into 121 degree centigrade for a hard either 20 minutes it will be 30 minutes because it corrected it is 30 minutes for preparation of media after that that media will be prepared then you tested your desired compound or what <clears throat> another is the alternative thioglycolate media it contains no agar that means solidifying agent or indicators it is used for the turbid suspensor or viscous product only the cream I mean, basically the cream in that key how if you there is little testing of the cream, some ointment or the creams at that time, you use the alternative thioglycolate media. That means the media, their composition are the same, but only the agar will be replaced or agar and indicator not present in the cream in US. And for the device, I have the tubes with a small lumina, that type of money. That means tubes like so, the type of substances can be sterility test by this alternative thioglycolate media. And another is the soybean casein digest media because soybean casein digest media used for the anaerobic as well as the small fungi used for this purpose. The pancreatic digest for the casein it contains 17 grams carbon, nitrogen, and essential amino acid. And pancreatic digest soybean meal, nitrogen, carbon, and essential amino acid. And sodium chloride obviously it is an isotonicity contributing agent. And dibasic potassium phosphate is the source of ions and the buffers. Obviously, the medium that must contain some buffer to maintain the pH, a certain pH of the medium that will be helpful for the growth of the microorganism. If it is not changed, if it changes the pH, there is a chance of growth of the microorganism will be hampered and that's why there is a dibasic or a potassium dihydrogen phosphate or potassium hydrogen dihydrogen phosphate or dihydrogen potassium phosphate is used for that to maintain as a buffering agent and, and to maintain the pH also. Dextrose 2.5 grams, reducing agent C and the distilled water 1000 ml.
So these are the soybean casein region because it is used for the anaerobic as well as the fungus. So this is the another media used for the sterility test. The control test, there is a two types of test. One is the negative control, another is the positive control. That means such a fertility test. One is the negative control, another is the positive control. And in the test media, generally two to three types, two types the method A by the membrane filtration and method B for the direct inoculation. Where the membrane filtration is used and where the direct inoculation is used, we can see in later. Uh, next slide. Method A, it is a membrane filtration. Here it is a, a membrane will be used for this sterility testing. There are the three types of fluid used in this method for membrane filtration. One is the fluid A, fluid B, and fluid C and D. That dissolve in the one gram of peptic digested of animal tissues such as the bacteriological peptone or its or equivalent water up to 1000 or uh, ml or one liter and filter a centrifuge to clarity and just adjust the pH 7.12 plus minus actually is not only not only the plus it, is, it will be plus minus 0.2 because pH is the one of the most important factor for the medium for the mediums <clears throat> and adjust the pH 7.01 plus minus 2 and dispense into the flux for 100 ml quantity and sterilization for 121 for 20 minutes. Okay. So these are the fluid A which are used for the membrane filtration technique. Another is the fluid B as per the IP or the fluid D as per the USP. As per IP, it is used as a oh, hello. Huh. Hmm. Bolo that the class at Chimbolo. Tomacata rule number the bullichilos, non this year. You got a number of what you chill. List the part I am okay. Tell me a number the elicida or you can a classroom, Google classroom. তার পরে আমি কথা বলে নাম বলে দিচ্ছি ঠিক আছে হ্যাঁ তুমি পাঠিয়েছো তো আমি দেখলাম আমি ভাবলাম তোমাকে তো বলেছিল কতর পর একটা আমি বলে দিয়েছিলাম না 58 না কত ঠিক আছে তাহলে আমি নন্দী স্যারের সঙ্গে কথা বলব কারণ নন্দী স্যারের কাছে যা সিকোয়েন্স থাকবে তাইই হবে তুমি যেভাবে ভর্তি হয়েছে তো কল ঠিক আছে হ্যাঁ 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 Here, fluid B used for the IP as for the IP and fluid D used for the USP. If the test sample contain lecithin or oil or use fluid A, which one liter of and which has been used to one ml of polysorbate 80. This polysorbate 80 it is also suspending agent as a emulsifying agent or use as a surfactant to maintain the fluid viscosity and concentration and pH adjust 7.1 plus minus 2, all age plus minus 2 and dispense into the flux and sterilize for 120 for 20 minutes. That is as per the IP specification or in case of fluid D, use for USP. So you can USP fluid D and here I think it will be fluid D, fluid D, dissolve 5 gram of peptin digest animal tissue and 3 gram of BB extract and 10 gram of polysorbate 80 in one liter of uh, water and adjust the pH 6.92 plus 0.2 and dispense into the container and sterilize via appropriate the process. So fluid D, I think this is the fluid D for the USP method and here is the fluid B for the IP method used for the sterilization by membrane filtration technique. And the method, this method is related to exceptional skill and special knowledge also and it is also calls for the routine use for the positive as well as the negative control also that means in this case a positive and negative control a suitable positive control it is the occasional use of a unknown solution containing the fixed number of microorganisms and the specific quantity of test specimen in taken and is made up is passed through the membrane with a fixed pore diameter and that membrane is 
then collected and washed using the diluting fluids and then it is incubated in the several culture media for the growth but these are the method applied for the sterility testing of different method in case of usp and in or in case of the bip also so what are the advantage of the method a and the method b the wide application mostly all kinds of products generally used in the method a and a very large volume can be tested in that case the large volume can be tested there are one liter two liters that sample can be tested by the method a and the smaller volume of the broth required that means here the broth is very low requirements that means testing cost is very less but the large volume can be tested applicable to the substance to which no effective indica uh, activators or uh, you know, are known and in the subculturing is eliminated and disadvantage what are the disadvantage obviously there is a some disadvantage also no method or no process is only advantage there is a some disadvantage the possibility of the adjustion of the sufficient media coming in to vitiate the test cannot be the discounter entirely and high skilled staff and expo exceptionally good aseptic technique are necessary high skilled staff and exceptionally good care these are the very main important criteria for the method a one is the high skilled staff one is the highly trained staff and knowledgeable and exceptionally good aseptic technique that means aseptic technique must be the good quality otherwise it cannot be this process cannot be applicable this method used for the which purpose where it will be used an oil any oily substance or at least like oil emulsion that type of ointment can be put into the solution or a non bacteriostatic solid not readily soluble into the culture media a soluble powders or a liquids that process a inherited bacteriostatic or a fungistatic property for liquid product where the volume is in container is 100 ml or a more only method a is employed another method membrane filter apart from the membrane filtration the second method is the direct inoculation technique method or direct inoculation method where it can 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 be applied here the sample is directly transferred aseptically into the media to tubes assess the process by any viable organisms and this method is applicable only for the where there the liquid preparation wild volume the powder which are soluble in water which are soluble in water or solution which are miscible in water and substance like the gauze and cotton and here the great care shall to be taken in order to avoid the accidental contamination okay so these are the applicable hello bolo or no ha nichi ekhono bolo na 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 ও আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে আমি দেখে নিচ্ছি মানে ভালো দেখে ছবি দেখে করে দিই তো ঠিক আছে थैंक यू জেনারেল মেথড ফর স্টেরিলিটি টেস্টিং অ্যাজ পার ইওর দ্য সিলেবাস দ্য হোয়াট আর দ্য ফার্মাসিউটিক্যাল প্রোডাক্টস লিকুইড সলিড প্যারেন্টারাল অ্যান্ড অ্যাপথালমিক প্রোডাক্ট अकॉर्डिंग टू আইপিবিপি অর ইউএসপি হিয়ার উই আর ডিসকাস अबाउट দ্য আইপি অ্যান্ড ইউএসপি নট বিপি quantity per container less than 1 ml in case of liquid if the container contain less than 1 ml the whole content of the container must be used for a sterility test suppose say for one vial contain 0.5 ml or up to 1 ml the whole container used for the sterility test if the solution contain 1 to 40 ml so that 40 ml cannot be discarded only half of is the container half of the content of each container but not less than 1 ml that means the 50% of the solution will be used for the 1 to 40 ml and greater than 40 and not greater than 100 ml in that case 20 ml is used for the sterility test and greater than 100 ml 10% that means 10 ml or container or not less than 20 ml antibiotic liquors 1 ml solution and other preparation should soluble in the water in the isopropyl mire state and this whole contents each container to provides a less than 200 mg and insoluble preparation cream or ointment to be suspended or emulsified used for the contents of each container 
to provide not less than 200 mg so these are the general method in case of ip it will be discussed the hot sample with the how many how much quantity of sample to be taken and they given the specified formula as per the volume if the volume is 1 ml or as per the volume it will be taken which quantity of the sample in case of solid one is the there is a liquid here is the solid quantity per container less than 50 milligram and the whole container of each container if the container contain less than 50 milligram then the whole container must be used 50 or more but less than 300 half of its container of each container but not less than 50 milligrams 300 to 500 gram 150 milligrams and greater than 5 grams 500 milligram used for sterilization purpose in case of solid be careful what are the aseptic uh, sterile testing for the solid and liquid first one is the liquid then is the solid but what are the sample taken that will be discussed if any problem please ask me in later in case of devices suppose it is not solid it is not a liquids but some devices say for syringe cat guard sutures and other sutures surgical sutures for the veterinary use in the three section of a standard of which 30 centimeter long around and surgical dressing cotton and gauges 100 mg per packages sutures and others individual packaged single used material the whole devices and other medical devices the whole devices obviously the devices generally the whole devices current because this part of the device can be sterility test but the other part of the contaminated there is a problem so in that case any devices always sterility test must be whole of the devices cut pieces cut into pieces or in the December because whole there suppose they one instrument the whole instrument the one part will be sterility test it will be satisfied but the other part is not satisfied or are you not tested then other part is contaminated or a chance of contamination that is a problem a harmful effect so in that case the device must be whole device can be suspected whole device must be still ready test in case of parenteral preparation the first one is the liquid then solid and then the parenteral preparation and the whole devices the parenteral preparation a number of items in the batch suppose one batch contain thousands vials the minimum number of items to be tested for each medium unless otherwise justified not more than 100 containers if the not more than 100 containers 10 percent or the four container which will be greater then if not more than 100 containers suppose your vial contain one batch contain 100 10 percent that means either 10 100 to 10 percent 10 or at least four container whichever is to be greater and more than 100 but not more than 500 at that case 100 container must be used for sterilization sterility testing and more than there is 10 container suppose there is a problem suppose in case of 10 container you take the 10 containers but 9 container is sterility test pass but the one container reject uh, or fail so how it will be taken what are the measurement taken at that condition i again whole things will be re-sterilized or again it will be sterilized then our again it will be quality control or again it will be sterility test for 10 container for random sampling and more than 100 500 milligrams 2 percent or 20 containers and the more large volume parameter were 2 percent or 10 containers whichever be less antibiotic solids if the antibiotic which are the solid the penicillin it is a solid at that the condition the primary bulk package greater than 500 milligrams the 20 containers are used bulk pharmacy bulk package 500 grams six container and bulk and blended according to the bulk solid products so in case of antibiotic these are the specification for the sampling and in case of ophthalmics or other non-injectable some preparation these are not an injectable not a ophthalmic but other devices say for implants in that types of number of items to be batched 
not more than 200 containers and 5% or two more container and which is the greater and more than 200 at least 10 container is required for sterility testing bulk solid product item number of items in the batch up to four containers each container if the container total container is the four so each container man, four container man, for each and every container must be test for sterility but if more than four four containers but not more than 50 containers, the 20 percent or four at least four container, whichever be is greater, and more than 50 50 containers, two percent or 10 percent container vehicle could be greater. The sterility assurance, it is the achievement of the sterility within the any one items, each population in the item submitted and sterilization process can be guaranteed that it is 100 percent sterile. So their validation and the sterility assurance, if the sterility is passed as per the IP or the USP or the BP method, that product will be 100% assured, it is be 100% sterile. So there is a quality will be 100%. And there is always a finite st statistical probability that microorganism may survive the sterilization process. And the probability of survival is determined by the number and types and resistance of the microorganism present and by the environment which will be organism exists during the treatment. So there is a one assurance in case of sterility testing the product is 100% sterile. In this SAL sterile assurance level for the given process is expressed as a probability of a non-sterile items in the populations. Not more than one vial microorganism 1x into 10 to the power 6 sterilized items of the final product. So these are the interpretation of the result. After the, after the sterility testing, we are concluded, we are interpreted the after the incubation or during the incubation period, if growth is not observed, that means the presence, the taste of the sterility preparation is sterile. If the growth when after the inoculum is added in the preparation or any medium, if the no growth will be occurred, then the, it will be sterile. If growth is not observed, if growth is not observed, passes the test for sterility. If growth is not observed, container are reserved and retested, rete, retest is performed as the original test. Then. If the growth is not observed, passed, passes the test. If growth is observed, the microgeum is isolated and identified. If the growth is observed, obviously the microgeum is isolated, which microgeum is contaminated, and that will be isolated. Again, it will be sterilized. If they are not readily distinguishable from those growth growing in the container, reverse into the first test test, the preparation fails the test if they are readily distinguishable from the from those growing in the container reserve in the first test and second retest perform using that twice the number of the sample if growth is not observed preparation passes in the test obviously if growth is observed preparation fail the test so basically it is depend upon overall criteria after the inoculation of the media if the growth is observed then it is re-sterilized. If again it is re-sterilized and this tested, it is pass or no growth appear, then the preparation will be sterile and the preparation process the test. But if growth is after that, it will be growth will be occurred. So the preparation will be rejected. So these are the references, the Indian Pharmacopoeia 2006 of the government of the Ministry of Health and the Family Welfare, the Pharmacopoeia Commission. I think you this type of books also downloaded from the website also and the United States Pharmacopoeia in the National Formulary ANF Asian Day edition 2003 Copper and Gun Dispensing Pharmaceutical Students 12th edition CUSC publication and distribution. So these are the reference you can get and more and more knowledge from these books. Thank you very much for listening to the lecture. If any question please ask me uh, at now or any question in my channels or in the Google Classroom. 
इफ यू लाइक इट लाइक मी और इफ एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज आक्स मी थैंक यू वन सेकेंड प्लीज आक्स मी एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस टॉपिक